miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. They love their football in this part of the country, and this crowd is ready to go as their guys will match up with the New York Giants. Here's the Giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now Jones. Throwing deep for Galladay. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. An early message that this secondary is going to be tested because even though it fell incomplete, it almost felt like a warning shot to get things going. A little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. Throwing Jones. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first but he only makes it to the 34. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. On to punt, Jamie Gillen. A 40-yard punt given three on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and ten. Another drive coming up for this Washington offense. On first and ten, Powell. This is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Off the play fake. Howell. There again is Thomas. They've gone to him a lot. And he'll get nothing out of that one. No gain that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. Now the old pass completion for no gain, not something you want to call up out of the playbook too often. Yeah, most offensive coordinators don't have that on their play sheet, so they've got to go back and scramble after this one. But right now, with what they're telling receivers about making sure you take care of the ball in open field, sometimes the fighting for extra yardage doesn't come as a result. That and good tackling can lead to no yards gained. And yeah, they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, step it back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. The first carry for the Memphis man, Antonio Gibson. And he stopped immediately there. James Bradbury there to make the tackle. You don't see that a ton, do you? Or the cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Looking to throw. Powell winds up and lets it go for Samuel. He's got a man complete. 
And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A big play that time through the air. 30 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Fired that one in there. Able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. They'll run with Gibson. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. A stop there on third. They could have held him to three on this opening drive. Now they have to bow their necks on first and goal. And if I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view, that's a big-time pickup right there. And I'd go right at him with another momentum play. I'd go quickly and attack him because right now they probably have their heads down a little bit since they didn't stop him on third down. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. It looks like they quit hitting the snooze button on their alarm there. Finally a sign of life from this defense. They've been fairly passive on this opening drive. Now able to stand up on first and goal. And they sent that play backwards. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. It's their quarterback, a four-yard touchdown scamper. And Washington has taken a first-quarter lead. Well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that at <laughs> all, right? This is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described, that's team football. All right, when you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You said, thank you very much for getting us the rock. Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that. Is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. Tried to drop it in there, but it's intercepted. William Jackson with a pick. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Here's Gibson to start the drive. Dances by at the 20. Justin Ellis in on the stop. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. To throw on second down. 
Powell. Thomas has got it. Complete. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. They go play action here on first down. Looking left side and it's complete. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first and ten, it's Gibson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Yeah, Second yeah. down. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Back to throw. Powell. Open man is Samuel. Complete. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Washington on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This time they face a third and two. Here's a give to Gibson. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw. Powell. He gets it to Thomas. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Now that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. Throwing on first down. Howell. And Thomas has it. Seven yards to pick up there. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is. And they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play. Touchdown, Washington. Curtis Samuel, a 14-yard touchdown. And Washington is able to stretch their lead. The full team is involved in this game early, aren't they? Go down the field, score on offense, take the ball away on defense, and go right back and score again. You got to like the way that's working for them. That's exactly right. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, two-score lead. A little bit like you at breakfast this morning. I got to get this in. You had a perfect omelet, dropped it. So a little bit of a turnover. You went right back, though, and got that omelet and crushed it. got to do what you got to do. Yeah. You got to do what you got to do. worried about your hands, though. Yeah. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs>
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Here's Robinson. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. New York ready to go again offensively. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Touchdown, Giants! Saquon Barkley. 72 yards and the Giants strike quickly here for six points well there's no doubt that this offense was in desperate need of a quick answer and they got it one play and they're right back in this game because you got the sense if they stalled out here and then another score on the other side to make it a three score game could have gotten ugly Gano the extra point and that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. On first down, Howell, middle of the field, he's got McLaurin. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Off play action, Powell. This will be caught at Samuel. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Now they, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Operating from the gun, Powell. That's out to the flat for Gibson. That catch good for only a couple. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. Ike's been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd went to ballet school, got the toes down, and stayed in bounds. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. Back to throw again. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by the USC man, Adoree Jackson. And the Giants are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. 
And last time the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook, one play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It yeah. was real easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. Second and ten. To throw again. Jones. He's going to let it go again. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. On third down, Barkley. And he's going to lose yardage here back at the eight. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Jamie Gillen now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. He stiff arms him. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return. And possession will switch hands, first and 10. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know what, a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Throwing again. Powell. Slings this deep from McLaurin. Got a man. It's caught inside the ten. Touchdown! Terry McLaurin, 52 yards. And Washington able to come up with a quick strike touchdown. Solid response that time by a young quarterback. Last drive interception, this drive the touchdown pass. I like how you described it solid because you don't get extra kudos for bouncing back if you're going to be a big-time quarterback. You're supposed to do that. But at the same time, when you're a rookie, that's not guaranteed, is it? Sometimes they hang their heads and they go in the tank a little bit. Not in this case. Bounced back, took his team downfield, and threw a touchdown pass. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Here's Robinson. And able to get this out to the 25. In possession, switching back to the New York Giants. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Jones now on first down. He dumps it off to Barkley. That catch good for only a couple. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense.
To throw again on second down. Jones. That's complete to the tight end, Aikens. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. A big play there on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. to throw again and he'll find Aikens there complete now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half they'll come up now on second and a yard Again, he'll drop to throw. Out to the left, he's got his tight end, Akins, And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Touchdown, Giants! Jordan Akins, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. CD for them, this has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. following the touchdown here to kick it away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Washington going to go on offense one last time in this first half. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Powell. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Here's second and 10. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. Five yards. Now it's third and five. So we've reached halftime here in our nation's capital with a Washington football team on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. 
Second half starts with a run by Gibson, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Back to throw. Howell. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And who's got it? The Giants! Well, the touchdown a minute ago on offense got him back into it, and now the defense turns right around and forces the turnover. And you and I both know if you're going to come from as far down as they have to, it's going to take both sides of the ball, maybe even the special teams, to get involved. And so far, they've done exactly that. Offense scores, defense does its job. They're making their move. Now Jones, following the fumble recovery, he'll throw. Looking for the end zone. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Looking to throw. Jones. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Jamin Davis, the blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants! Darius Slayton, 33 yards! And the Giants are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Well, that's what I call an answer right there. They gave up a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because give up the sack on the previous play, that just hurts those guys, because they never want to see their guy get hit. Extra point try, good by Gano. And that will tie our game here in the third. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Well, here we go on the next drive for Washington. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. <laughs> a big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. You know, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. On second down, it's Gibson. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. They'll go again with Gibson. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Well, they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game, and that's allowed them to move the ball on offense. But I've got to tell you, 
to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides, but to see the ball in a running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. On first and 10, Howell taking a shot for Samuel. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. On every offensive coordinator, every play caller sheet, they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays, and you don't get many opportunities to dial them up, and they just did, and they drop it with a great chance to make a big play. That's going to hurt. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. On third and one, it seems natural to just turn and hand it to the biggest guy you have in the backfield. But usually, he's not the primary runner. So for the defense, they're often keying on the running back because he's the guy who gets the ball more often, and the fullback is the blocker. When he ends up carrying the football, that's a heck of a tendency breaker. And now you're just trying to jump on his back and hold on. Throwing on first down. Powell, he finds his man complete. It's Thomas. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Gibson here running out of the gun. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, so it was looking good, but nothing there, and now it's third down in inches. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. Back to throw. Powell got his target, Samuel. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. Yeah, they were right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. On first down, Howell firing quickly here, and that's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be caught. No, they say it's incomplete. That was a difficult catch, and I admire the fact that he actually caught the football, worked so hard to get his feet down in bounds, tried to do the toe tap. Look, my dad's an accomplished tap dancer. I'm not sure he would have gotten his feet in on that one. Is he really, by yeah, the way? That, that he is. How about that? What about Young Davis? No, no, it did not. It did not cross it didn't carry over. No, it stopped right there. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. On third down, Powell. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Now on comes the Washington field goal unit. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And with it, they'll take the lead at 
So a response there to the touchdown of the opening drive of this third quarter as they're able to reclaim the lead. And I think you'll take that because obviously you'd like to be able to match them touchdown for touchdown, but the first order of business was to get the lead back, and they've done that. Now you want to give a good pep talk to your defense to take it from there. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Here's Robinson. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. And now out come the Giants. And we have seen a lot on the scoreboard here in this quarter. So you know, you, sometimes you talk to me about tendency breakers on offense. These defenses struggling. Are there tendency breakers on defense? All defensive coordinators keep something in their hip pocket for these types of situations. What can we do to slow down the onslaught? But the biggest thing is make sure these guys encourage each other, pick themselves up, because right now, it's been a really tough ball game trying to stop these offenses. Oh, it really has, especially as of late. A good action to this point in the third quarter, just a three-point game, second and 10. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Now Jones. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. Good footwork at the 30. We'll call that a 49-yard punt with a return of just two. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and seven operating from the 34. Looking to throw. Powell. Open man is the tight end, John Bates. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. On first down, Gibson, and not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Now a throw here to his running back. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. 
that might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. And that will be incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Here's Tressway now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Jones steps away to his left. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Throwing Jones. This is Aikens hauling in the short pass. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A big play that time on the catch and run. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. A first down carry for Barkley. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Here's Jones. On first and ten, he gets it quickly to Galladay. Seven yards, the pick up there. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And yeah, that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch. Is the arm there? The leg's still there. This has been a tough game. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Back to throw. Jones. He's going to be sacked. Back at the 23-yard line. Jonathan Allen, the former first-round pick, getting in there to bring him down. Well, this has been a pretty sizable drive. They've had some success. Finally, the defensive coordinator found some success of his own. I think he just simply said, enough of that. Okay, they've moved the ball well. We need to force the issue from our end, and that's exactly what he did. Gano's kick is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. 
And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Another drive coming up for this Washington offense. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. On first and ten, Howell. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. That catch good for only a couple. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Looking to throw on second down. Howell. That's going to be caught by Samuel. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Here comes the blitz as they look to throw. Pass complete, Thomas. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Very sharp here to start this drive, three for three. Yeah, I like the way he's running this two-minute drill. Very sharp, very precise in throwing the football. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Looking to throw, Howell. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Well, they have had no answer for this connection all night long. Hey, you just have to think in a two-minute situation, that's got to be a concentration lapse. You know they're going to go back to him with the game that he's been having. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On the draw, it's Gibson. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Working with a second and three. Once more, Gibson. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. They'll run on first down. It's Gibson. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. On, the Giants going to burn go. their third and final timeout as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. Now a first and 10 at the 11. A handoff for Gibson. Try to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. And they'll run here with Gibson. And here he'll get it down to the seven. 
Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. A carry for Gibson. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. It's a gain of five, and now the question, will the offense stay out there on fourth and one? So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. He made his only attempt earlier. This for the win. And we are set for a great finish as that timeout comes in with two seconds to go in this football game. Oh, that heart has to be pounding inside the chest of Joey Sly. Two seconds on the clock, this for the win. And it is good! He splits the uprights on the chip shot. And they will be all smiles in Georgetown tonight as Washington has won it. So it's Washington getting the victory here. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises. Really, both sides did. But they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really had to grind this one out, didn't they? Because nothing came easy. Every snap was a major league brawl. They had to win at the line of scrimmage, win downfield. They got all those things accomplished. But to win a close one like this, you know, every team wants to be physical. We've heard that a million times, right? But those who are mentally tough, those are the teams that you have to deal with in the playoffs. This was that.